Hey Queen, this is Ebony, the founder and creator behind Queens Recognize Queens, an authentic and unique coaching brand encouraging queens just like you, um, audacious queens, to return to their throne. And today I want to talk about, are you allowing your mindset to mess with your money? Now, mindset is the most important thing ever. And if you've been following me for a long time, you know I'm just going to talk about this forever because it can ruin, it can make or break a lot of things. And I know that for me, my money mindset was shifted at a really, really young age by opportunities that I had kind of talked my way into. When I lived in New York, I ended up landing a job at Macy's as a new hire trainer, as well as um, a couple other jobs. And there was one that I ended up getting paid 20 bucks an hour to spray perfume. Now, I was an 18-year-old girl um, working with people who were like twice my age. And it opened my eyes because many of them had degrees and, and this was a point where I was kind of lost trying to figure out what, where did I want to go to school, what did I want to do, what did I want to pursue um, and it just was shocking to be able to get paid 20 bucks to spray perfume. Even for me 15 bucks was such a large amount of money because I was used to getting paid you know five bucks as a busser, seven bucks working in a grocery store and not really being able to break that ceiling of you know you just thought that's what you deserved because people will tell you you could only make a certain amount of money because you have an associate's or you have a bachelor's or you have a doctor's oh you don't have your GED so you can only you only have the ability to work at McDonald's that's not true and I want to explain to you and just tell you that your mindset around money is messing you up and your, your value and your worth um, behind what you feel like you deserve. Because if you don't feel like you deserve a lot, you will stay at jobs that are only paying you $10, $11 an hour when, you know, just to live a decent, somewhat decent life and have a little bit of financial freedom, I think we need to make at least $18 an hour. Like, as a given, a good, comfortable life, being able to buy your own food, you know, and that might change if you're a single person. And one of the things I also teach people is that we get these beliefs from somewhere in our lives, right? It's, it's from the world. It's from maybe how our parents raised us. I grew up living check to check, um, month to month on social services. So that was a reality for me. And just remember that you have to keep breaking down how you value yourself, how you put yourself out there in the world. Because at the end of the day, if you know you have the ability and you know you can get things done, why are you shortchanging yourself and why are you allowing others to, to, to feed that to you? Because the world's going to feed it to you. They're going to feed you that you can only make this amount per hour. Like I just said, based on an associate's or a GED, do you have to believe that? Do you have to ingest that thought? You have to really think about it and say, do I have to believe that? Do I want to believe that? And focus on creating the thoughts and the momentum around believing in your worth and believing what you deserve and you will manifest that position. I did it. I did it when I moved back to upstate New York. They were trying to pay me. I went from getting paid, like I said, 20 bucks and up to getting paid $8 an hour as a manager with a belly bump. I was pregnant and they wanted to establish my worth as an $8 an hour uh, person. And that just wasn't for me. You can't even make a living. You can't even live well that way you know you might be able to pay a phone bill and that's about it but you can't live well and you have to start equating this with what you deserve the type of life that you want to live and don't put it on other people's terms stop letting other people define what that is to you and what you can make and focus on how you're going to get there by first focusing on your mind and your thoughts around your value and your worth and what you really really want out of life and the more you focus on that you're going to start attracting those opportunities that will allow you to live that life and they're going to be right in front of your face i'm not telling you they're going to be easy but they're going to be worth it and they're going to be right along in alignment with what you want and with what you need. But stop letting your mindset affect your money. Know your worth, know your value, and add tax 
As always, this is Ebony from Queens Recognize Queens. Please make sure you follow me on Instagram as well as Facebook at Queens Recognize Queens. Leave me your comments as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel for constant weekly motivation and mindset mastery. Have a great day, you guys.